so this new book, 20 Lies That Keep You With Your Abuser, I, I love the book. I love the style of it. I, I think it's so user friendly. I guess I can use that word with it. It's easy to, to see what lie you believe and then what scripture says and then some great stories. And, and just, I think it's very, very helpful. So let's go back to just the whole idea of codependency and how do couples become codependent? Now, codependents are trained. They're trained, usually from their family of origin, to become a codependent. If, if it's a woman, let's say, uh, could be a man, but it's a woman, she sees her mom being a codependent to her abusive dad, her narcissistic father, boom. That's 18 years of training, if not yeah. a bit more. Okay, this is how, I'm not living in somebody else's house, this is how it works. And so she learns her role, especially if the mom never leaves and just keeps doing it, this is how life is going to work out. Here's how you fake it. Here's how you give your whole life up. Now, also in the Christian community, as you know, Kim, many churches, not all, but many churches also train women to be codependents. Yeah. It's from the pulpit. It's from Sunday school. It's, it's the word of God used in certain ways to indicate that you're to submit no matter what. You're to stay no matter what. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you keep loving him, okay, he'll change. The burdens put on the wife not on the husband. That's not what the Bible teaches, but that's what they learn. So it's just kind of reinforced. Absolutely. And then finally, I think, you know, women are, are more sensitive. They're nurturers by nature. They, 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 they don't want to get a divorce. They, they, and so they're just naturally, their bent is to be codependent and to give, I mean, every part of themselves to this guy. And they're pretty sure that's going to change him. It's not going to, not this time. No, no. And I, I, I think it's so interesting you talked about the family of origin because really if you grow up with that, that's your normal. I mean, that's your textbook, yeah. right, of what it is to be a wife in a marriage. And so uh, you can see how that per just transfers from one generation to the another till somebody says, whoa, this this isn't right. You know, and, and I think, too, I had a, you said that about some churches and I had a lady that she went to her pastor, talked for her. She had visible bruises. And the pastor said, you stay in there. You're supposed to serve him, all this kind of stuff. And honestly, I, I told her, I said, get out of that church. You need to be in a church where you're loved, where God's word is given to you like it is supposed to be, like God yeah. meant it to be. And God didn't mean for you to be abused. And so uh, I don't know where those churches get there. I hope there's very few of them, if any. I hope they're not anymore. Because, but when someone has grown up in a codependent home and then your pastor reinforces that that's really hard isn't it it is it's, it's like a done deal where do i turn my own people i can't turn to can't turn to him or his people because they're on his side and now my pastor and pastors words carry a lot of weight I'm absolutely i've told many women even this past week yeah find a new pastor yeah. uh, on your way out of the relationship you may not leave right now but find a pastor that gets it um yeah he, he doesn't care about you and he's never going to get it a guy like that yeah, and I and there are pastors that get it, and there are pastors that will walk through you and probably put you with someone else to mentor you or someone that's been through those things. I mean, yeah, reach out. Don't, don't feel like you're stuck there. 